You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. And then died. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally to prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. And you... Nice talking okay. with you, Morton. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Oh. Apparently got new mail. Or at least some DLC missions come up. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give you him make that. Go over everything? You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Hmm. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Right. Wanted to turn on subtitles. There we go. Now, who else wants to speak with me? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? 
It was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? What we had together is in the past now. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. I appreciate that, but I'll be okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Okay, just Lawson. That'll be all. Miranda. I'll be here if you need anything. Now, what are these messages? Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Oh, goody. I get the feeling, since I haven't seen this before, it's a DLC mission. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. Great, so solo. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. No joy. Any other messages? Uh, regarding grunts. Uh, goody. Someone that got out of purgatory. don't like the way that looks. I would use it, but I'd rather wear the helmet. Even that I don't like. Uh, health. Faster regenerating shields. Design of the health looks better. Spare ammo. Health. Spare ammo. More health or running speed. Uh, 
Okay, well, nothing new. Oh, the fish died. Damn it. Gonna have to go get some more fish. and deck three. Don't know where this should come out around the fourth part of this session. So probably the rest of this will just be talking to people. I think. If my clock is right. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister. A twin. And he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium. Safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay, for when we start up that side mission. See while we're here, Thank talk you, to Garrus. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in okay, the middle of some calibrations. Anything. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Yep. Loads of Thanix. I have no idea. Hey, okay, I... Wasn't actually reported anyone else wanting to speak with me. Let's see, missions. Ellie. Ellie Zora vs. Nima. Hmm. Look at this on the big map.